right, let's get right into it. That was Stu Wen. Always like guessing, you know, the characters whenever I watch the game. Really quickly, like, and this will be a really quick video. I wanted to bring something to your guys' attention. Um, it was in the very first, you know, group of messages that we got for the new ACPU event. But in that group of messages, um, we got, you know, a giant hit, a giant hint at the next Halloween event. A giant, giant hit. They say that they are going to dress up and wear actual Halloween outfits next Halloween. Basically confirming that we will at least be getting skins, if not actual units for the next Halloween. Um, that comes around. I was, my gosh, completely blanked. But yeah, um, for the next Halloween that comes around, we will be getting actual skins, if not units. I think the reason why they didn't do it this year isn't because, you know, they didn't want to. It's because of poor planning. I mean, they had Summer Part 1, like, what, one or two regular banners? And then, wait, maybe two or three regular banners instead. And not just one or two. But, you know, whatever. After that, we go into Summer Part 2, which is two more limited banners. And then, you know, um, I believe it's two regular banners or one regular banner. And then we hop into Nier. I don't know the exact banner schedule, but um, one or two regular banners after Summer Part 2, we hop into Nier for two more limited. I don't think that they wanted to do eight limited in like four months. I don't think that they wanted to do that. You know, that wouldn't be fair to the free to play people, um, you know. And I agree that would have been very cool if they did that. So I think that, you know, they're going to be planning way, way better this year. And they're going to be adding a Halloween, you know, event in the following year. This pretty much confirms that we'll at least be getting skins. But hopefully we'll get an actual full-blown event with actual units. You know, the same way that um, Summer Part 1 foreshadowed and predicted and told us about Summer Part 2 before Summer Part 2 was even announced. Um, in the chat logs for Summer Part 1, which I'm not exactly sure where they are, um, I can go and try to look. Maybe really up there. But yeah, um, in the chat logs for Summer Part 1, uh, we got Summer Part 2 foreshadowed. It was like, um, when will, we, when will we be able to go back? And it was like in around two months time or something. And two months later, we got Summer Part 2. So uh, the, same way that, the same way that they foreshadowed um, Summer Part 2 in the Summer Part 1 logs, I, th I think that they're foreshadowing the next Halloween event in the Citizens log. I say I think, but this is pretty much all but confirming it. They've, they've dropped the biggest hint that they could have. Yeah, um, that's pretty much um, all I wanted to say, though. I don't really think I have much else to say. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate it if y'all got this far into the video. Like I said, it was going to be a really short one. Um, I just wanted to bring, you know, the fact that we probably will be getting Halloween units next Halloween to your, to your guys' attention. And by the way, that means that they're going to be um, using that empty space that um, they had in the first one or two months after Weirs. There was like nothing until like the Chainsaw Man. And then from Chainsaw until Dorothy, there was like nothing as well. Which just a bunch of plain banners. They're going to be moving stuff to where they can put stuff into those, you know, month, two month, three month gaps that were in there. So that 
they can make a room for more events to happen later on in the year, like Halloween. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, I appreciate if y'all got this far into the video, and um, you know, uh, I'd appreciate a subscribe, like, and share. Um, if not, then uh, just thanks for coming and watching the video. I appreciate y'all. Peace.